Hello and welcome. We are so glad that you are praying with us today. Thank you. We have several candidates to interview for the position of Liturgy and Communications Coordinator, but it's not too late if you are interested or know someone who might be great in the role. We're making excellent progress with this year's annual Catholic Appeal. Thank you. And we need everyone to pitch in. Your gift in any amount will make a difference. We thank you for all the ways you so generously support God's work on earth. Our bulletin has more information about these things as well as about one of our biggest outreaches, the Growing Project, a speaker for our upcoming parish feast day, the Knights of Columbus Barbecue, a grief group, the Sarah Club for Vocations, a Marriage Encounter Weekend, and much more. As we begin our prayer now, if no one is near you, please know that we are with you in spirit. If anyone is near you, please offer them some sign of your love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Thank you. Yes, I add my welcome as well. We are so glad we have this time to pray together, this important time. A gospel question. You know those things to which you are connected are they giving you life or not? Lord Jesus, by your humble, beautiful life, you taught us how to live. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. In your lonely and painful death, you showed us that there's a price for love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. In your resurrection, we see the promise for all who would ever follow your way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new and holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit, and come to the joys of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the, apostles, the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
done for me. Blessed be the Lord who holds me close, whose love is surrounding me. Let all the earth cry out, cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out, cry out to God with joy. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn, for God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, If our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do whatever pleases him. And his command is this, we should believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he has commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit. And every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. 
I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't this plant beautiful? Creation is marvelous, mysterious, magnificent. Even this single leaf right here, we do well to be in awe because even this one leaf is itself amazing. And the reason this leaf is so healthy and alive right now is that it is connected to the plant that puts its roots into the soil so that it can draw the life it needs. It, it takes in, in the nutrients and the water it needs so that this alive and beautiful leaf can emerge. And Boys and girls, please do not try this at home. Watch what happens when I take this leaf off the plant. Not much, right? I mean, it still looks great, doesn't it? It's still beautiful. But on the inside, it is dying. That's because it is no longer connected to the plant whose roots go into the soil. Yep, on the outside it looks great, but on the inside it is dying. Something like that can happen to us. Today Jesus says, I am the vine you are the branches. Remain connected to me and to my way of living, and you will know life, great life. And it raises the crucial connection, kind of question, to what are we connected these days? As any farmer or gardener would tell us, as Jesus would tell us, not all vines are the same. Don't be fooled. Not all soil is life-giving. The way of Jesus gives great life. But there are other vines to which we can attach ourselves that do not. You can probably think of some. I mean, there is, for example, the, the vine of comparison and always wanting more, thinking we need more. You know, if we are on social media, we can be especially strongly tempted to put our roots into that soil. But there is no life in the world of comparison. Instead, we just sadly miss the simple joys and beauties of our regular lives. Or we can start to get mean. We can. You know, it might start by 
web pages or news stations or people we hang around with that suggest that, well, some people aren't as important. They don't, they don't really matter. And that could lead to us thinking it's okay to talk badly about them, to be mean to them, to even hurt them. There is no life on that vine. It just kills our souls. Or what? How about you can think of others? You see, if we're not careful, we can start to get more and more disconnected from what truly gives us life. Disconnected from Jesus and what he stood for. I will leave this leaf here throughout Mass. May it be a reminder to us to stay connected to Jesus and his way. Otherwise, like that leaf, we might look fine on the outside, but on the inside, something is dying. With all my heart, I believe staying connected to the values of Jesus and his way of living, that is what keeps the best of us alive in us. I don't just believe it. I know it. His way is what keeps us true and beautiful on the inside, no matter what we look like on the outside. This weekend at each of our in-person masses, we're going to celebrate First Communion. You know, I am so glad that moms and dads bring their kids to this day. You know, it's part of the commitment that parents make at baptism. You know, they say this out loud, right? In front of God and God's people. That they're, hmm, they, to stay connected to the vine, to help their kids stay connected to the vine by raising them in a home where at least one parent goes to Mass on a regular basis, where Jesus is talked about and talked to, and where service to others is witnessed as a value. And whether it is online because of the pandemic or in person, Sunday Mass is one of the best ways to live that commitment, to nurture that kind of home. Because at Mass, we are connected to Jesus in a unique way, to that vine Jesus who gives life. Because at Mass, we gather with others, who, others who believe and are trying to be like him. And whether we gather online or in person, we are still connected to each other. And that connection makes a difference. It makes, it makes a profound difference. Then, in God's word, we are taught by God what truly matters and what doesn't. How to live a beautiful life. Not an easy life, but an important and joy-filled life. And then through communion, whether through an act of spiritual communion or in person, we are fed with the best food of all. Jesus, the one who loves us so much that he says, I give you me. Some folks really get this. You know, one of the families whose child will make first communion this weekend decided with their child that if he receives any money for First Communion as a gift, part of that money would go to help feed people who are starving. That's it. That's it. That's keeping connected to Jesus and what he stood for. Thank you for that. And thank you for praying with us today. I, I think that doing so is more important than we usually realize. It makes more of a difference than we usually feel. And please know that you're praying with us right now. It also sustains me in my call. It really does. It, it makes a difference for me as well. And I just thank you for all the ways that you live 
those values that Jesus lived and that he proclaimed. Yep. If we start to disconnect from the ways of Jesus, you know, we might look just fine on the outside. But on the inside, something is dying. But when we do the work to, to stay connected to Jesus and to try to live his ways, then we flourish. Then we are truly alive. in that unseen presence around us and in us. We profess faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Trusting that God hears us whenever we call out. Let's offer some of our intercessions and prayers. We pray first for the church, for its leaders, and for each of us. May we deepen our connection to Jesus Christ and live his values in the time we have on earth. We pray for our brothers and sisters in India who are suffering so much because of the pandemic and for all who suffer its consequences. And we continue to pray for frontline workers, for nurses, doctors, and all healthcare professionals, for firefighters, police officers, and ambulance drivers, for counselors and teachers and nursing home workers and for all who are doing so much to care for those who are hurting right now. May God bless our college kids and graduate students as they prepare for exams. May all of our teens and young adults remember who they are and what truly matters in life. We pray for Most Sacred Heart Parish Whenever we gather and in all that we do, may God's kindness and love be known. In a special way, we pray for the boys and girls who will make First Communion this weekend. May they stay close to Jesus forever. We pray for the repose of the soul of Margaret Buchter, mother of Denise Tenney, and for all our loved ones who have died. May God hear their prayers for all who will miss them.
risen Lord, we trust that you do hear our prayers, spoken and unspoken. Help us to hear you. We pray in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just that we would always and everywhere acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts. Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the night he was to, before he was to die, he took bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, merciful Father, look with favor on the oblation of your church. Bring us to fullness of faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Archbishop, and all your people. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. Remember our brothers and sisters who have died in the peace of your Christ, and bid them to fullness of resurrection. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Remembering our deep connection one to another, to God's people all over the world, to our loved ones who've gone before us in death. As one great family, we together pray. Our, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Remembering that we are not alone, let's hold this world in peace for a moment. And if there is anyone near you now, please offer them some sign of Christ's love. See 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe you are really present in the blessed sacrament I love you more than anything in the world and I hunger to receive you but since I cannot receive communion at this moment feed my soul at least spiritually I unite myself to you now as I do when I actually receive you Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As I mentioned Thank you for praying with us. That really does make a difference for me, as I believe it does for you. I hope it, pray it does. And please forward the links to anyone you think might benefit. And thank you for the hard work it is to stay true to those values of Jesus. I pray that you have tasted what I have. That it's so worth it to do so. Boys and girls, let's see how Big Al is doing today. Come on out, old buddy. How you doing? I'm good. You're good? Well, I'm glad to hear that you are. Hey, what's that? Well, you know, of course, that that is salad. That's not a salad. Good, I don't like salad. Well, Big L, we got to <laughs> eat. We got to stay healthy, dude. And these leaves are not here to be eaten, but to remind us of something. Uh-oh, broken. Well, Big L, don't do this at home, but I took it off the plant on purpose. Why? Well, I wanted to remind people and myself, that like this leaf has to be connected to the plant to go into the soil to stay alive, because right, you know, right now, it's dying. Whoa! It looks good. It looks good, but it's dying on the inside because it's not connected. Whoa! In the same way, you and I have to stay connected to Jesus and to what he stood for, and to living his ways. And when we do begin, when we say loving and kind, when we pray and we help others, well then, we're alive. But if we're mean, are selfish, are crabby all the time, we're not. I'll tell them, bye. Boys and girls, Big Al knows that sometimes he gets a little crabby and I don't expect anybody to be perfect, but he does agree, he just said it again, that when he's loving and when he's kind, it's worth it. It's worth it. It truly is.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. sing on it.